Thanks so much for joining me. So this is the fourth video. Uh, the first two videos I created were how to make tags and printables with Microsoft Word and PowerPoint. And in those videos I go over the basics such as installing new fonts, working with rulers and grid lines, as well as basic uh, working with shapes, working with images, and working with text boxes. My next video of how to create cupcake toppers with Microsoft Word goes into additional techniques such as shape layering as well as working with textures and patterns. Finally, in this video, we're going to be talking about working with images. And I'm making this primarily for my friend Wendy who listened to my how to create uh, circular tags and came back and said I didn't really understand the concept of the .png file extension. I heard you talking about it, but I didn't understand what that meant. So let's give you, show you some examples right now. First thing we're going to do is insert a, I'm so sorry, insert a shape. And we're going to go ahead and insert a box. And we're going to change the shape outline to green and the weight to six. And let's go ahead and do a texture fill. So we're going to go to Google and type in green and yellow polka dot and go to images and find the background image that we want. Right click, save image as, and we don't need to change the, the, bat, the uh, name of it. <coughs> and we're going to do format shape fill texture. Again, I went through this in my prior video. So if you're a little lost, please go back to how to make cupcake toppers with Microsoft Word, and I'll go into this in detail. All right, now let's go ahead and find our image. Let's go back here and type in duck Easter egg. And what I actually want to do is type in duck Easter egg and show you the .png file extension first. Okay. So now let's go to images and click here. Now do you see this gray and white checkbox? This means that this is a .png file and it has a translucent background, meaning there is no background. So if I right click and save image as. It's going to save it as a .png image. And let's save this as .png. And what that means is it's just going to save the image with no background. So if I do an insert picture, .png, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know the first thing you have to do when you insert a new picture is change the text wrapping to be in front of text. Once you change that to in front of text, you can actually move the image around and resize it pretty easily. And now we can have our image with our textured background. Now let's take a look at that same image as a GIF or a JPEG. I went ahead and just selected the background, did a copy and did a paste with a control C and control V. And what we're going to do is go back and do the same search, but just remove the .png. Okay, click on images. The majority of the images out there on the web are .gif or .jpeg files. So a .gif extension or a .jpg or .jpeg file extension. So if I save this, I can see this is a .jpeg. Let's call this .jpeg. And I also want you to note that this does not have that translucent background. It doesn't have that gray and white checkered box. Now I want to insert picture and let me insert the duck.jpg and as you can see here I can also filter directly on the file extensions. Very first thing I want to do is change the text wrapping to in front of text. Now I can move this around and as you can see I have that white background. I can absolutely because this is selected and format is selected I can absolutely crop and get rid of some of the white, I don't know of any way with the basic office products of how to remove these white edges. You need something like Photoshop in order to do that. Finally, let's show you how you can make this translucent. Let's go ahead and once again copy and paste that image by highlighting it, pressing Control C and Control V. Let's do an insert picture and let's insert our duck.png and once again let's do the text wrapping in front of text and let's make this much smaller and put this here. Okay. In most of my other videos I do talk about clicking on format 
and changing the brightness or the contrast. What we're going to do here is click on picture correction options and this is going to give us the ability to, to change everything. So we could actually recolor this totally or we could change the brightness or the contrast and we're going to change that to zero to put this back to normal. Uh, we can also rotate the picture, <coughs> change the 3D format and what we want to do with the 3D format is we want to make this translucent. Okay. Now that we made it translucent, we need to go back and change the brightness so we can see it a little bit better. And now you can see how I just made this picture translucent. Okay. You can also play with the lighting um, and you know really make this image look any way that you that you that you want or that you need. You can play with the the contour colors or the depth colors. You can also add shadows. Um, I think I added a small shadow on this image. Um, but that's basically how you can play with the image as well. Okay. Finally, I want to show you how you can, um, if you need to uh, print to PDF, so let's say for instance you're making printables and you want to share something you've made with a friend and that friend doesn't have the cor correct fonts loaded onto their computer. Again, I talked about installing fonts in my prior two videos. Uh, let's say they don't have the font installed, they won't be able to see the actual, um, what it's actually going to look like without all the correct fonts and settings. So, if you want to print to pre PDF, I want to note something with the pictures. Okay, Let's go ahead and do a search for a more intricate picture, such as something from the, from the Frozen video, Elsa and Anna. And let's do a .png. Okay. Let's go ahead and click on images, and here's a nice PNG image. Again, I have that translucent background. Let's go ahead and save this image as, and let's say this is frozen PNG. Let's go ahead and save that. Now, if I go ahead and let's insert a shape, it's going to be easier to see if I do it this way, and let's fill this as black, and let's insert our picture frozen.png. Once again, we want to do text wrapping in front of text. And let's go ahead and move that right there. Okay? Now, let's go ahead and open up Paint. And let's save that PNG as a BMP. BMP is the native Microsoft format. Okay, so we're going to save this as frozen.bmp. All right, so now we've saved that as frozen.bmp. Let's go ahead and insert picture frozen.bmp. Oops first thing we want to do, which I just um, skipped that step, is do in front of text. And now let's go ahead and make that smaller. And rather than this back background, why don't we actually just delete that and make that white so it's a like-like format. Okay. Now, if I do a print to PDF, I want to show you that the images are going to look quite different. Okay, so I just saved that. Let me go to my desktop. Let me go to my, oh, there it is. So, if you can see here, the image for the .png is a little rougher, and it actually looks better on a black background, so I probably should have done that. But it is much rougher, and as you can see around the edges of the hair, it's not as clean and it's not as crisp. So, and as you can see also around her mouth, it's not as clean as the .bmp. So if you did want to go through and actually print to PDF to share with somebody else, or if you're making these for someone else to be able to print, you do want to use the .bmp file format. 
Thanks so much, and I hope this was useful. Uh, I do have two websites, um, a baby shower website where I have a number of printables as well as links to how to create your own printables. I also have a new do-it-yourselfer blog, which is just a blog about fun arts and crafts I do, and I also have printables available there. If you did like this video and found it useful, please like the video on YouTube. Thanks so much, and I hope you found this useful.